This is CNC World, a new perspective. Some other took a dip into Lake Ontario on August 19th for a good cause, but this one was a little different. Divers in Toronto took a plunge into the lake to raise awareness for water pollution, marking one of the largest shoreline cleanup efforts in the world. Navy divers had an unusual mission in Toronto Sunday. Instead of their everyday undersea drills, they dove in to retrieve one of the lake's biggest enemies, litter. They scour the waters along the short line to showcase the amount of litter that's embedded in Lake Ontario, one of the five Great Lakes of North America. It's an effort to highlight the importance of the upcoming 19th annual Great Canadian Short Line Cleanup, a seven-day nationwide effort to clean up the short lines of rivers, lakes, streams, or anywhere land meets water. The event is co-organized by the Vancouver Aquarium and WWF. The reason that's important is we need to get as much debris, litter, polluting items away from the water as possible. It's really important because it makes sure that the plastic rings are not being wrapped around the mouths of, and bills of ducks. The, on ocean fronts, it's important that the plastic bags aren't mistaken as jellyfish, which the turtles will then eat. These can be very serious problems for wildlife. And by cleaning up the shoreline, you're both making it safer for you and your family, but also safer for the wildlife that depends on the water and the shoreline too. Three divers took turns covering 800 meters of water along Lake Ontario. Roughly a dozen items, including a license plate, pylons, a condom package, and various bottles and cans were brought to the shore after 30 minutes underwater. One of the divers named Julia Cervanko said the conditions weren't too bad that day, but with 20 years of diving experience in the area, she said that's not true for the most part. We have found hypodermic needles. Uh, actually, they float, so sometimes they float in where we where we need to put our boat in. So uh, we get out some protective gloves and, and get them out and put the, dispose of them safely. Unlike Cervanko and the two other divers who physically dove into the water to pick up garbage, people who volunteer for the week-long event will be walking on land along the short lines to pick up litter. Last year, participants in the event covered over 3,100 kilometers along the Canadian short line and removed around 143,000 kilograms of litter. The most abundant litter, according to Price, is and always has been cigarette butts. Last year, over 350,000 cigarette butts were picked up. So we found tens of thousands of cigarette butts that are just discarded and any one doesn't seem like a problem. But if you have thousands, that's creating a toxic impact on fish and birds on the waterfront. They peck at and try to eat these things and take on the same uh, uh, toxic chemicals that are bad for your health uh, that are in, still in the cigarette butt. Aside from cigarette butts, most of the litter includes bottles and cans, plastic bags and things people use along the beaches and dispose of into the water after. 96% of shoreline litter comes from land-based activities, and most are everyday items. Price remembers a few shocking discoveries over the years. We once pulled a wedding dress out of the water. Uh, we have had a motorcycle. Um, there can be really unusual things that are almost exciting or, or, or shocking to find. You don't want that in the very same water that we draw our drinking water from. This is Lake Ontario. We all drink the water that comes from it if we live in the greater Toronto area. This year, organizers are aiming to register over 75,000 Canadians to take part in the cleanup efforts, which will take place from September the 15th to the 23rd. This is CNC World, a new perspective.